tough fight there between Jitendra Singh uh, and his opponent. I do want to go to Disha for a bit, but before that, a word from our guest in the studio. Mr. Padhya, I know you wanted to come in on Jammu and Kashmir and the significance of these changes uh, in well, Jammu and Kashmir. Well, you know, this engineer Rashid winning from jail yes. is a very, very significant uh, uh, development, I would say, especially in the light of assembly elections which are due. See, so far, I think BJP has followed a, a tough policy uh, in Jammu and Kashmir. Mm. Uh, probably they'll have to, you know, uh, modify those uh, stance. And also the fact that uh, these two, uh, you know, regional parties, NC, mm. uh, that uh, uh, PDP and NC, have been there for, you know, years and years. And both the leaders losing these elections means that there is going to be a lot of shift that is going to happen in JNK. So whether it will go towards... Uh, uh, you know, more radical uh, uh, groups or more, or, you know, moderate groups, one has to see. Because mm. I think this is where the BJP will have to play a hand very moderately in JMK. Because, see, the, with both NC and uh, PDP going out, mm. I mean, if the leaders have lost, and, you know, their parties will also be going down the road. So yeah. BJP will have to ensure that there is some kind of a moderate parties which come up. Okay, fair enough. Disha, uh, we're also joined by Disha Shah, who's joining us from Mumbai. Now, of course, uh, Disha, a lot of places. And, you know, everyone has mentioned that Maharashtra, West Bengal, and UP, you know, they've been key states in keeping the BJP from reaching that target. And a lot of our guests have also suggested that BJP always believed that it would reach that 400 target. Now, we'll come to that later, how far they've fallen short from what they projected for themselves. But talk to us about how much a role Maharashtra has played in it actually spreading some water on the BJP's dreams. Well, absolutely. Whatever BJP had predicted for Maharashtra is turning out to be completely opposite because remember, even till last minute, Shivan, uh, we also were reporting about how there was no clarity on the candidates that the BJP yes. as well as the ND alliance uh, were supposed to field for elections against the uh, MVA in concern. So there was a lot of uncertainty till the last moment because the BJP very well knew that in certain pockets of the state, including Mumbai, the Shiv Sena, which is led by Uddhav Thakre, has a very strong hold and even Congress for that matter. And that is the reason today when we talk about Vidarbha and the entire Western Maharashtra, that is where the BJP has fall short of uh, in the number of seats. And that is what the uh, MV Alliance has really uh, continued their legacy in those uh, seats as per the early trends that I, that I spoke about. And we, Shivan, we have just received an update that Sharad Pawar will be addressing the media at about 3 p.m. today. Uh, remember, MVA is leading at this point in time as per early trends. So what he has to say will definitely hold a lot of importance. Hmm. Uh, and like you rightly pointed out about the BJP, the entire factor of bringing high uh, bringing uh, you know candidates uh, that belong from the advocate and even union minister for that matter that has really worked for them but when we talk about the rural areas that is where the congress and the shiv sena had a really strong hold and that's something which has hit them today and it's a major setback for the bjp and even today i want to show you where i am standing it's the bjp headquarters shivan the, this was the same headquarter where in 2019 election, when even during the early trends, this entire road was filled with people. It was crowded. There were celebrations. There were dole, etc. Everything. But right now you can see completely a very silent movement. You are not seeing any crowd. In fact, the only celebration that we have witnessed today in Maharashtra is in Baramati, where the Supriya Sule has uh, is leading. Uh, against Sunitra Pawa. So that's the only celebration that we have seen across Maharashtra. None of the parties have really celebrated so far in Mumbai. Okay. And, okay, and Disha. Sister, she had mentioned that you know hmm. there's a press conference at 3 yeah. p.m. by Sharad Pawar and by 5 p.m. it's going to be Rahul Gandhi. Yeah. So clearly celebrations and press conference As are only Sadan pointed out, laddus everywhere, both yes. in the Congress office you and the BJP office. Of sweets in the morning. But none of that is coming in uh, at the moment. Okay. Okay, Disha, and uh, just thanks very much indeed for joining us. We'll come back to you at the top of the hour for more updates. Uh, we're also being joined by Siddharth MP, who's been covering all of South for us. And South, such a large chunk, such an important chunk uh, for the BJP's char so par. Uh, Siddharth, talk to us about what's worked for the BJP and what has not. Clearly, the alliance with the TDP has worked. 
uh, in Andhra, but not so good for Tamil Nadu, where the BJP, uh, where the Prime Minister had said that you know uh, the BJP was doing well, possibly you know opening an account, uh, but also states like Karnataka. Uh, which are also important for the BJP and the JDS. I want to talk about the JDS before I forget. Hasn't really uh, the Ravana issue has not really impacted their you know strongholds of at least Mandya and Hassan. If I'm if I'm to be right by the, by the last counts. Uh, I think uh, I'll just make a quick yeah. point here. Uh, Revana has lost. Yeah, so has. quite okay. a mixed bag South has been for BJP. Some predictions going right and some predictions going completely wrong. To start with, uh, Kerala is in fact a new territory that BJP has breached in the history of Kerala's politics. BJP has never had an MP there, but now they have one assured MP from there, from Trishur, the actor politician Suresh Gopi. So Kerala, at least the BJP can take consolation in the fact that in Trivandrum as well, there's a close fight between Shashi Tharoor and Rajiv, but Rajiv Chandrasekhar is trailing now. Tharoor has taken a, a dream. So that's again closely being watched. And Artingal also, there's V. Murli Dharan, the uh, MOS, ME, Minister of External Affairs, Junior Minister. So he's also there, but he's third and the, there's a considerable lead there as well. So at least in two places, they could come second and in one place, they've won so far. In Tamil Nadu, no BJP candidate has won so far. They're neither leading, they're neither the, neither they've won. But of course, the NDA can take solace that one of their candidates is leading and uh, has a you know considerable lead. So that's Tamil Nadu uh, to you know sum up uh, the two deep south states. But uh, just heading to Karnataka, like you pointed out, uh, the Revana issue is something that came up after Karnataka's first phase of polling, where all the strongholds of the JDS went to polls. So all three were done and dusted, and then only this Revana issue actually exploded before the second phase of polls in northern Karnataka. So in Northern Karnataka, generally the JDS does not have influence, but of course the influence against the BJP is what uh, was being predicted that you know this issue will boomerang against the BJP because this man fled the country, a sitting MP fled the country, and you know the ruling government at the centre did not do much about it. So this is one thing that is being watched, and uh, of course as far as Andhra and Telangana are concerned, Telangana too, uh, you know very good show by the BJP. Given that uh, BJP and Congress are almost equally placed in, in terms of the number of seats and a state party there, that is the BRS, which ruled the state until you know end of last year they've been uh, sort of decimated so this sort of shows that um, in many okay. places where there is a possible vacuum like scenario the bjp is emerging andhra again like you point out chandrababu naidu is king and he could soon play king maker Right, Siddharth. Soon play king maker and of course uh, the Delhi offices will be buzzing about what next steps to take. Siddharth, thanks for that. Uh, let, let's go across to our guest in the studio and what do you make of uh, what's happening in South? Now, Kerala, they've opened their account from what we know, but I think uh, Rajit Chandrasekhar has not really been able to dent Tharoor's uh, legacy in in uh, at least Trivandapuram. Yeah. Uh, and Anamalai seems to have lost. Yeah, so that's, a huge, not, that's a huge. That's a huge thing uh, in itself. Because, you know, state he president. was projected as uh, you know the face of uh, we discussed BJP. that earlier. But they, they needed a party, regional party, uh, to bank on. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you see, he's for all said and done, Anamalai is an import from Bangalore. Mm. I mean, he might have been born in Tamil Nadu, yes. but yeah, all had his career in Bangalore, and then yeah. he was uh, posted there. Anyway, I think that if they had gone with AIDMK, probably they would have done better, which we had discussed earlier. As far as the southern reach is concerned, it's been a mixed bag for the BJP. You know, uh, Karnataka, they were losing badly, but they seem to have done okay. That is because of alliance with uh, JDS. JDS. You know, JDS has not only won two seats, I mean, out of three that they were given, they've also helped the BJP from the figures that I'm uh, you know, gathering, the BJP would have you know, won about five or six seats because mm. of the support from JDS. See, in all these uh, other uh, constituencies, mm. JDS always had about 20,000, 30,000 votes. Mm. So if they voted for the BJP, which looks possible, that is the reason why you know, some BJP has been able to do much better than uh, think, you know, uh, they I would have done otherwise. I think because JDS and the BJP are far more natural partners than the JDS and the yes. Congress because they don't cross each other's vote banks. Yes, There's yes. the Lingayat and the Vokalika that yes. Yes, oh, well, I think together. you know Linga at no Kaliga. So the Wakaligas of you know South Karnataka, uh, Congress and the JDS are always served. and in 2023 it was Shukumar who took away all the you know votes of Wakaligas. Yeah. So that was the reason why so they, they came down to 19 seats. Bank. So they had to uh, you know depend on uh, BJP yeah. uh, to get back to the mainstream. Absolutely. So those are the important trends that are coming in. Uh, you know still. I mean, there's a, there's an hour or so left before we can actually uh, say exactly what the results are. But uh, all uh, at the moment, the NDA 295 and India at 230, others at 18. 
so in about as we said at 3 pm uh, you know we will have sharad pawar speaking and at uh, 5 pm, at 5 PM you said, we have rahul gandhi rahul and all gandhi the press speaking. conferences announcements are coming in from the opposition block yeah. which were opposition till now and of course they have really reached close to that 295 target that they were that setting out Kargil, which everyone yeah. thought was outwardly uh, till which the morning everybody thought the was wrong except yogendra yadav who seemed to have taken that position <laughs> where they say he said that the exit polls are wrong so